Hello there. Today I'm going to do a flip cut pour. Just a small one, although I think I've got too much paint. And I'm going to um, do it by making a uh, cup bomb. Um, I, off the top of my head, I can't remember the name of the artist I got the idea from, but I will put it in my description. So I have a small 8x10 canvas. I have a cup in which I have put silver and phthalo blue paint layered. And into that, I am going to put another small cup of white glitter paint. I'll just get the bottle and show you. I bought this recently, Deco Art Glamour Dust in Ice Crystal. And I have mixed that in with um, PVA glue and water, my pouring medium. And then I have injected with... Um, one of these. <laughs> it's terrible as you get older you can't, you forget names of things. And I've injected paint into the, the cup. Um, the colour is turquoise and it's got a little bit of silicon in it. And now I'm going to put that cup straight into the middle of here and push it down. Right down into the paint until it covers it. Paint may not completely cover my cup, but it will be close to it. I haven't tried this one. This isn't quite what the artist I saw on YouTube was doing, but I'm going to give it a go and see what happens. Right, I'm going to walk away for a little while now and leave that. I'll be back with you in five minutes. I'm just allowing all the paint to go down to the base of the cups. Well, I think it's probably set there long enough now. Um, I've got something to put the smaller cup on after I've lifted the bigger one because, of course, I can't lift them both at once. So I'll start by lifting the bigger one first, straight up. Wow, look at that. The little one has stayed inside the bigger one. That is fantastic. I did not think that would happen. Wow, okay. Well, I can take my piece of plastic away. That is all good. Give it a bit of a torch to get rid of the bubbles and see if I get any cells coming through. I don't want to do too much yet as I'm going to be tilting it now, tilting the paint off, and I have probably as much paint as I need. I thought I might have too much, but I think I'm going to need all this paint to tilt with. I'm just loving it. That is gorgeous. I'm loving the colours together and I can see some of the white sparkle from the Deco Art Glamour Dust shining through it. I really don't think I want to do more 
uh, tilting than that. I'm quite happy with the way that looks. Doesn't matter which way I look at it, it's very, very pretty. But more importantly, I'm looking forward to seeing how it dries because the white parts of it are just the glamour dust and pouring medium. So it'll be interesting to see if they dry quite glittery. But it's got the glitter going through it and looks very pretty. So I think I will just leave it like that. But I am going to get my torch and give it a bit of a blow, blow over with the, the flame to get rid of the bubbles. There are quite a few of them that I can see. But there are possibly more cells to come through as well. There wasn't a lot of silicon in the turquoise. But it has made a few pretty little cells, which is all I wanted. Just something to change the look of the picture slightly. And as you can see, they are coming out. So that looks just lovely. That is, <laughs> well, I've learned a few things. I think this is probably my biggest surprise was the fact that one cup stuck to the other on the inside once I, once I pushed it down because it's not glued into place. You saw me pushing that cup down into the other one but once it was on there it's like the <laughs> possibly the PVA glue was holding it down into place. I can tip it up like that and it's still not moving. Paint is coming out but the cup is staying in place. So I have learned something with that and I'll definitely be trying this again. So I'll now bring the painting up closer to the light for you to see, have a look at it. There's little cells forming there growing slightly larger. I have no doubt they will continue to grow as time goes on. But that is just lovely. I'm so happy with the way that has come out for an experiment. So thank you to the artist that I got the inspiration from. It's very, very good and I'm happy with that. That's it for me. Once again, thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.